What's up, everybody? This is Carolina Mike, your host for SharePoint in 60 Seconds, the channel where you can get the information you need right away in the first 60 seconds and then stick around for a step-by-step full run-through. Today, we're going to be talking about adding folders to SharePoint document libraries. But wait, there's more. Just in case you can't find that folder option, we will show you how to enable it. Stay tuned. I'm a SharePoint expert, play with data extra. Careful with my hands, cause I gotta use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes, I don't care what you heard. And we're back. We'll start with that verbal rundown, and then we'll follow it with some step-by-step -step instructions complete with visuals. So, first thing you're gonna do is you're gonna hit that new drop-down, and then you're going to click on folder. You're gonna add the folder name, and then you're gonna click on create. It's just that simple. But wait, here's that extra added bonus tip. Let's say you don't happen to see the folder option or the uh, the button so that you can create a new folder. You're gonna click the gear icon, you're gonna go into library settings, you're gonna to go to advanced, you're gonna scroll down to the folder section and say allow creation of folders. Click save and you're done. Boom. All right, so let's get right to the step-by-step -step demo. Like I said, first thing, you know, you're in good shape if you have the folder option. You go ahead and click on folder. You're gonna name it, create, boom, you're good. There's your folder. But let's just say, oh no, oh no, no, no. I don't have the option for folder. Aww. Well, by turning this option off, I'm gonna show you how to turn it on. Here we go gear icon library settings we're gonna go to advanced uh, fair warning do not play around in here I will say it again do not play around maybe let somebody know that you're gonna be updating the the entire document library settings all right so we're only gonna to touch the uh, make new folder command available it's either yes or no we click on ok we can click our breadcrumb back to the document library and there we go. I mean, we had it. It didn't go away because I didn't want to remove it from myself. So there you go. That's how you can create folders and enable the option if you don't have it. If you'd like to see any more or maybe see this done in classic, let me know. I'm happy to upload another video. But until then, I bid you adieu. Please like and subscribe. Remember, SharePoint rocks and so do you. I'm a SharePoint expert. Play with data extra. Careful with my hands because I got to use them forward. Yeah, I'm a big old nerd. I like maple syrup. All my pancakes. I don't care what you